Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today's video is DIY Glam Wood Cutouts. I got these from the Dollar Tree and uh, they were just plain pressed wood and a little bit of glitter and a little bit of bling and they're going to be adorable in uh, my granddaughter's bedroom. And this is for my friend's bedroom. So if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. Okay, I have these wood shapes that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, and they're just called wood shapes. And one's a butterfly and one's a unicorn. And I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do just one or both of them. But whichever one I do definitely going to be um, one of them is going to be for my granddaughter so um, I got some other items out first thing I'm going to do is base coat them in white like always and the um, the unicorns horn is going to be done in rose gold so I've got rose gold metallic rose gold glitter I've got um, some white glitter and there's two different sizes of the chunk and ultra fine. I'm probably going to use plain white for the unicorn. Not sure, but this is uh, the pearl. And we'll think about that later. Um, I also have the um, the stones and this is definitely going to be for the unicorn because my little Lily's room is in pinks. And I'm not sure what else I'm going to put on this, but this is going to be a good start. So I'm going to get everything base coated. Um, make sure I get the sides. I'm really kind of surprised at how thick these are. And this is more of a pressed wood. So I know that the, um, the paint is going to suck in, so it's going to need at least two coats. So I'll be back after I get them all base coated. Okay, I got the um, Pearl Tone white all over the uh, cutout. And now I'm going to take some black and I'm going to sketch in an eye. And after I get done with that, then I'm going to start putting in the um, rose gold metallic. Okay, I got um, the eye done. And that is black paint with um, blue metallic paint on top of the eye right there. And, of course, the white direction line. And this is the rose gold metallic, and there's gold. And I'm going to be, after this completely dries, I'm going to be filling this in with glitter. Uh, I'll use the gold glitter up here and the rose gold glitter down here and this is all going to be done in white glitter. A little Mod Podge and I'm going to start on the unicorn's horn And I'm just going to repeat the same thing for the mane and then the body of the unicorn. Okay, I'm taking some of this ultra fine white glitter. And to it, I'm going to mix, um, this is called Party Blend. I also have Jumbo, and I don't know if you can see the difference. I mean, the Jumbo is definitely bigger. So I'm going to put... The party blend in there and mix these up very well and then once I um, once this is dry and I can brush off the excess I guess you can see how it's done in here but I'm gonna brush that off and then I'll use the Mod Podge and put that together okay now like I said I'm just going to um, take the Mod Podge and put it in where all the white is. And 
and then like I said after I get this um, the white glitter on and it has a, a few minutes to dry then I'll do around the outsides okay I got um, all the white on and once this dries I'll use the soft brush to brush off any excess because I don't know if you can see that some of the white is in with the gold or the rose gold but um, anyway once that has completely dried then I'll put the glitter on the sides and we'll get to giving it its color I really like the way this is turning out but it needs a color and since this is going to be going in my granddaughter's room I'm going to do pink so I've got these little pink, pink gems that I'd gotten in that um, little package from Walmart. And I'm going to just place them around the neck. And I'm only going to take it as far as the mane. And then I'm going to put the little star shapes so that it looks like it's hanging from the gemstones and I'm going to use hot glue for this because these are acrylic gems and if you use E6000 with an acrylic gem I know I've shown you before it just eats the backing away so it gives it a, a really funky frosty look okay this is almost done all I have to do is um put the stuff on the back and I think my little Lily's gonna like this now for the little butterfly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this mm, probably just one coat of the amethyst uh, metallic and when that dries I'll be using it's called orchid glitter and this is by far my favorite and it's from Recollections and I know I got this at Michael's years ago. Uh, I have Aurora Borealis shapes and I got these in a big pack at Joann's years ago. I paid $20 for them and I had a 40% off coupon and I have I've had these for probably five years still haven't gone through them. That's how many there were. I have 20 gauge craft wire that I'm going to be using for the butterfly's antenna and Mod Podge to put the glitter on. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is give this a uh, good coat of paint and then we'll be back. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I cut about a six inch piece of the 20 gauge wire and folded it in half. And I'm going to just take my needle nose pliers, and these are the jewelry ones, so they're round. And I'm just going to make a nice loop. And I'll repeat that on the other side. And that's going to go on the back. And I've decided to glitz it up just a little bit. I'm going to glue um, a gem on the end of these. Okay, what I'm going to do is put some glue on the back of one of these gemstones. And I'm not going to go overboard because I really don't want it squirting out. And I'm going to press that end into the glue and put another one on top, making a little sandwich. And there they are, and I'll put them on when I'm about done. And there's a little bit of glue that's squeezed out in between, and I'll just pinch that off. Okay, now I'm going to... Um, Get out the teardrop shaped stones and I'm going to put one at the bottom, one at the top, 
and in between I'm going to put a little round one and I'm actually going to glue down the round one first and then press these into it okay I got um, I got those done and they're glued in place and then I got some rectangles and some oval gemstones out so I'm just going to play with these well, I kind of like this, and I used squares and ovals, and down in the um, little end of the wing, I'm going to put uh, a couple of small round ones, the same size that I'm using for um, these. So I'm going to glue these in place and mix up the glitter and get this one done too. Okay, I've got them all glued in place. And I'm going to start mixing up some glitter. And I've decided, of course, to use the orchid because I love the shade of this. As you can see back there. I'm going to add some of this um, Sullen Tinsel Blend glitter. It's in Midnight Gem. Just because I would like some of the bigger chunks. So I'm going to mix the two of these together and then get the Mod Podge out and fill in between the gemstones. And I'm not going to go too overboard with this because I really don't need all that much. I'm just going to cover the bottom with the fine. And add enough in there to slightly change the color and oh yes I like that okay I'm gonna get out the Mod Podge and start filling in between and give it a nice coat of glitter like I said I'm just gonna put this Mod Podge in between the uh, gemstones I'm gonna put it on a decently thick coat so it doesn't dry out before I get the um, glitter on and of course I've got it sitting on paper so that I don't have to worry about um, catching it losing it oh yeah I'm glad I used that second shade. Okay, I'm going to get uh, working on the okay, rest. All of I have it. to do now is wait for the Mod Podge to dry. And I'm going to finish these up. Okay, I um, put the picture hangers on the back of each of them. And I have signed them. And while my glue gun is nice and hot, I'm going to put this on the back of the butterfly and when I put this on here I'm going to try and get the glue and the antenna to go under the picture hanger and I'll let that dry and then I'll put a little bit more on top and it's not that there's going to be any weight on this because all the weight's going to be under here but it'll help keep it in place and there you go Linda and there's your butterfly. So there's one for my little Lily. And one for my friend Linda. And boy, I hope they like them. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And happy creating, everyone.